Okay, Stressed Out 72 here, um, talking about this uh, rocket stove again. Uh, really, the first thing you want to do is kind of have a design uh, concept at least, uh, and then uh, you're going to need a few supplies. So, here's my little design concept. Okay, and um, I have a uh, AutoCAD program, so I actually built this rocket stove uh, three-dimensionally. I was able to spin it around um, and get some uh, uh, drafting and uh, flow-through issues. So hopefully it, it works out right. Um, so you want your design, and then uh, the next couple of things you're going to need, and sorry for all this movement, um, is a 55 gallon barrel which I have plenty of empty ones uh, for my uh, future projects and um, uh, this is an 8 inch uh, farm tube um, and this is going to actually be uh, the primary or actually the secondary burn chamber uh, in this uh, rocket stove and then of course over here uh, are some other barrels that I got to use because I have to cut one almost in half and weld it to another one and then I'm gonna make another one for my buddy just because I like him and then uh, here is some of the other things um, I'm gonna make a test of burn here in a little bit with these pellets um, some 80 pound uh, bags of high strength concrete and some vermiculite and uh, you want to kind of mix this stuff uh, about oh, between 8 and 10 to 1 um, and it holds a lot of heat. I actually built a million BTU an hour uh, furnace uh, to melt aluminum in and we used this vermiculite stuff and it did super great. Uh, we could melt a 80 pound crucible of uh, solid chunks of aluminum in this crucible uh, would melt uh, in 30 minutes. Uh, so that was pretty good. Anyways, back to the rocket stove. So you're going to need those supplies. Um, going to need some 55 gallon barrels and they're fairly cheap. And then um, I actually am going to use uh, OSB. It's uh, 7 16 OSB. And I'll cut it to uh, my design that I have on the table over here. And uh, that will be what we call the core. So if you look at this one here, this is the core, okay, of the rocket stove. And then this, and this is looking sideways. This is a cutaway sideway view. So the vermiculite is all up in here, okay. And then... Um, so we'll make this inner core and then we'll pour the concrete and vermiculite around the core and then we'll burn the core out, which is the easiest way to get it out. So stay tuned to the next videos on this super fabulous rocket stove. Rocket